Yo, what's poppin', guys? Your boy Danny Mac here with another Wi Fi battle. And this time I'm joining the booth with my boy Jacob. Talk to him. Say what's up. What up, y'all? And today we're actually going to be doing a live uh, multi battle with some uh, uh, some good people from our Facebook group. If you guys are interested in joining our Facebook group and getting some battles in, getting some trades in, all that good stuff, uh, the link will be down in the description below. But right now we're just kind of just chilling out, waiting around. Um, for them to send the battle request to us so i figured we take this time to talk about the kind of team that we're bringing uh jacob and i decided to run a dual weather team of rain and sand so jacob's gonna be supplying the rain over here he's gonna be making it rain with that pelipper and all that and uh, i'm bringing my gigalith with the sand stream ability in order to pick up the sand now the way we built this was that we decided to go ahead and make mons uh we'll bring mons that have that will both um i guess benefit from both weathers so uh jacob you want to talk about what you got uh right now i'm bringing aside from the teleport you already mentioned i'm bringing uh tapu coco uh to benefit from that rain which is a little bit of thunder uh another one that i noticed that's going to benefit is going to be air quantity big old nope here with uh liquidation and then for you know the bit of a sandstorm i'm running with the uh, lichen rock Midday, uh, running Rock Slide, Excel, Excel Rock, Crunch, and Thunderfang, and then Savali Brown, because why not? And then Kamo, oh, because he really benefits the team. Yeah, definitely. And looking at my team, I'm bringing around some stuff that can definitely benefit. Um, like I said before, I got the Gigalith with the Sandstream ability, my Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Um, I'm bringing uh, also as well my uh, Ash Greninja as I wanted to use in this team. And uh, it's definitely going to benefit with the rain with the priority water shuriken and stuff like that. I'm also bringing in uh, Magirna since I, it could both switch around and it is a salt vest. I, I did use in the previous Ultra Beast video, which I'm going to link up in a card up, up above. Uh, Beside from that, I'm also bringing in a couple of options just to make sure we, uh, we can switch up our team in case we absolutely need to, depending on what the opponents bring. So what I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and bring up a team of Metagross, and uh, I think I'm also bringing in Tapu Lele because I feel like it could actually do some damage against a lot of stuff with uh, the Choice Scarf. So while we're waiting for the battle request, we're actually going to pause right, right here for a second. And uh, once the battle starts, we will be right back. And we're back. So now that we're actually on the Pokemon selection screen, like I'm not going to lie, ladies and gentlemen, this actually took quite a bit because uh, connection problems. But it looks like they got threatening mons on their team. Uh, so looking at Marcus's team, it looks like he's got the most threatening mon. He's definitely got that Alolan Marowak to, uh, to counter possibly Tapu Koko. Uh, he's definitely got the Haxorus and Incineroar and the Togekiss, which is going to be good in battles. Uh, looking at BLVK, he's looking like he's got the Kartana, the Primarina. And he's also packing the Magnezone, so... Hmm. What do you think they'd lead with? Hmm. I'm thinking... Marcus is going to lead with either Alolan Marowak or Togekiss, just to get things started. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And BLVK is probably going to lead with Magnezone or Primarina. Alright, so I think... I think if you wanted to just start off with uh, with Pelipper and Greninja, we could just lead with that. Yeah, definitely. And then um, I'm probably going to bring in... I'm going to bring in Gigalith, and I think instead of my Magnezone, seeing as they have one, I might just bring out my Metagross. That'd probably be the better idea. Yeah, we need some power. So, what are you picking right now? Uh, Teleport, Tabu Coco, and Lycan Rod. Alright, let's go. Time's running out, so let's pick these things. All so right. yeah, we're going to start the battle right now, and uh, this actually looks pretty cool. I like the way the 2v2 looks. Yeah, it looks pretty dope. I like how we have the same stance. <laughs> dope. I think that's the smug stance, the smug pose, or whatever it's called. But... Probably. But this should be yeah, a fun battle look? either way. Yeah, definitely. Got a low and Marowak t-shirt tank top, though. So we're going to send out Greninja and Pelipper. Not a bad set of leads right here. Whoa. So they got Incineroar and they got Magnezone. So that's not looking that great. Not looking good for us. So what we could do here is that we could really just pull a double. Oh, so. 
double switch. Yeah, we can just or, pull a pull a double because um, you're gonna outspeed Incineroar, but you probably won't speed outspeed that Magna Zone. So what I can do is I can probably go to uh, Gigalith, mm -hmm. and then I don't know what's a good switch in for you. You think? Because uh, uh, well, if you're switching to Gigalith, the only possible option I have is uh, Lycanroc because he's really the only one that's gonna benefit from Sandstorm. Hmm. Well, this is a tough position. There's some good leads. Um, alternatively, because I'm thinking he's going to target the Greninja, right? Like, that's definitely mm. what he's going to go for with Magnezone. Um, I, he might go for your Pelipper, though, so that's what I... I don't know if I want to risk that, but... Hmm. It's definitely a hard decision. Because either way, I mean, Lycan Rock's not going to take it very well, so I think I might just cut out into Gigalith either way, because Gigalith is like the most expendable Pokemon on my team. If anything, yeah. we could just reverse sweep on with Rain later. Yeah, definitely. So if you wanted to go out to Lycan Rock and risk it, I mean, that wouldn't be a bad decision, I think. Yeah, then try to myself into a Rock Slide. Probably be the better choice. Yeah, that works. So I'm just going to pull out a Switch here. Right, same here. Ooh, Quick Claw Magnezone. That's a... Uh, that's that's not something you see every day. No, it's not. But our switches are gonna go first, which is great. It's gonna set up the sand. And we are on air balloon, so I'm not fearing like an earthquake from this uh Incineroar. Yeah. So I was going for the Electro Ball, that's interesting. That's not gonna do anything to because you're not it's not that fast. Oh, but That's fine. I could take that. We're taking that nice and Nice and well. The only one that's getting hurt by the sandstorm is uh, Incineroar. Yeah, you're going to be faster than everything on the field, so you can afford to actually go for the uh, rock slide. The rock slide, yeah. And uh, I think I'm just going to rock blast the Magna Zone because I have no reason not to. I mean, he's probably going to go for the flash cannon, but I'd I just want to get damage off on this thing. Yeah, definitely, 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 definitely. So yeah, though, you're definitely threatening him with the rock slide. I think that was a perfect play. That was a good. That was a good turn for us overall. Yeah, definitely. Oh, Barely oh. missing out on the KO, and that's choice banded damage too. I know, and that makes me sad. So yeah, surprise going for the Lycan Rock. Oh, and we're living out here. That's Spadef. That nice Spadef, and we get a flinch. That is beautiful. The beauty. So we're getting off some nice chip damage on this Magnezone too with his Rock Blast. Giggle is putting in work. Look at that crit though. Nice crit. Are we getting a full five? Two crits. Double crit. Oh, the hack. Oh, I feel so bad for that, but five times, too. That was all kinds of hacks. That Incineroar was going to go down, though. Beautiful, beautiful play. That was, like, the best possible turn we could have asked for. Yeah. That sucks for them, though, man. Like, I wish <laughs> I, I wish we didn't double crit them, but, I mean, that's the game yeah, we play. That double crit, that was ridiculous. Shout that's out to Dwayne The Rock like Johnson, though. Living. Okay, so they got a Luxray. That's definitely not going to outspeed you, so... I could definitely go for a Rock Slide again. Well, I have no choice since it's Choice Bandit. Yeah, just go off for a Rock Slide. I'm just going to Rock Blast the Magna Zone again in case he goes for you. Because you are going to be faster unless it gets the Quick Claw, which I doubt. No. So, what are the odds of it getting that? But that's doing some beautiful damage. He's going to go for the Flash Cannon. It looks like on my Gigalith, so that gives you... And it's still not going to kill. Shout out to the Sandstorm Spadef raises. Mark on a Luxray. I mean, why wouldn't you go for a wild charge? But, I mean, that's cool, though. That's what I was thinking. Either way, hopefully this Brock Blast is going to be able to pick it off. And yep. it does. That Magna Zone is gone. That means there's nothing that can trap my Metagross in the back. This is beautiful. So, nice, nice, nice turns for us overall. I mean, Lycan Rock's yeah. down, but we're still looking pretty good. We still got five Pokemon in the back. Lycan Rock put in the finest of work. Definitely. You can actually go Pelipper here right now. We can start with setting up the rain. If what? you wanted to. But what if it runs Thunder? I mean, if it runs Thunder, it's still not going to be strong. It's a Luxray. That's true. And you are going to outspeed it no matter what. So this isn't looking too bad for us right now. It just depends on what they send out. So you're going to go out with Pelipper. Since you went out first, I'm assuming they're going out with another Slowmon. So Pre-Marina's mm -hmm. coming out. Not bad. Hmm. Sucks is like, you're not running protect on any of your mons, huh? Because right here I could have just boomed. Yeah. I'm just gonna heavy slam the Primarina, honestly. 
All right, then. Should I hurricane the luxury, hoping for a confusion? Uh, I would just scald it, honestly. Scald is just gonna go. I think scald should take it out from their range. All right then. Sounds like a plan. Premarin is slow, but I found I think Giggle is gonna be slower, so my Giggle is probably gonna go down right here. But you should, in theory, be able to take out that Luxray. I think. Yeah, and, and there it goes. Down it goes. Beautiful. Okay, so they're going for the double spread move. That'll definitely kill my uh, Gigalith, that but that's fine. That's that, a lot of damage to Pelipper, but it is in the rain. Yeah, it is, it is in the rain, and your Pelipper is uh, max defense, I believe, right? Um, I'd have to double check. I'm just going to go on to Metagross right here because there's no reason not to. Yeah. A Haxera. Hmm. Well, I think the best thing to do is to attack that Haxorus, since the Primarina isn't looking that threatening right now. No, definitely not. So you can probably go for a Scald Burn on it. I'm going to Mega Ball. some of that Hex from uh, our single battles. I know, right? I'm <laughs> actually going to I'm actually gonna Earthquake, I think, here to hit both of them. Or I could just single attack the Meteor Mash the Haxorus, but... I think mm -hmm. that's better because I don't want this thing Dragon Dancing up. Yeah. So I think if we just double target the Haxorus, that's the biggest threat in the field, in my opinion. There's not much yeah. Primarina can do to Meg Metagross, anyway. You resist both its stab and... Uh, I mean. It's just not that strong, I guess, but... Your Scald might be able to take it out from here, which is perfect. Boom. That Haxorus is gone, that's a threat. And uh, Primarina's basically got nothing to touch us with. Like, Hydro Pump's gonna hurt more than likely, but I still got Greninja in the back. Dang, that actually did a lot of damage. Right. Well, it is rain boosted, but now that's pretty much we uh, we knocked out one of the players on the side of the team. So now we okay. just gotta go for meteor mashes in here. You can probably just go for a hurricane, I think. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. Or you could U-turn out in the Tapu Coco. I I went for a uh, hurricane just to try and see if I can get a confusion if you don't KO. Oh, this but... should definitely KO. Oh, dang, that's. Oh, well. I probably got a low roll on there, or maybe that just didn't kill because that is neutral damage, but still, that pre marina is going to go down, and that's beautiful for us. It's gone. Now we just got to see what their last mon is, and I don't think... <laughs> no. Oh. Oh, man. So, yeah, you you got the easiest skull of your life. I get an Earthquake <laughs> right here, and uh, that should be GG. Unless this is max speed Arcanine, and it outspeeds my Metagross, but... I don't think so, so we're gonna go with the Earthquake right here, and that should be game. Unless it lives it. Oh, it's gonna but live it. It even still, so, Skull's gonna... Like, it's gonna kill my Metagross, but like I said, I still have Ash Greninja in the back, and your Skull's just gonna take it out right now. So, yeah. either way, that was a great game. Yeah, it was. Though, I mean, I think the, the most pr crucial play of the game was that first turn, though. Honestly, considering yeah, that we pulled that, and he went for Electra Ball over Thunderbolt or Thunder, which was, like, the best thing you could ask for, because Lycanroc was going to outspeed no matter what. Yeah, so, yeah. So, great game, guys. It was awesome playing you. Uh, like I said, definitely a very important, crucial uh, first turn switch by us, which is, I think, what set the momentum for the uh, team. Uh, but as you see, Gigalith um, put in the finest of work. So did Lycanroc. Lycanroc was just living doing everything it was supposed to do and it was just amazing to battle you guys so uh it'd be awesome to battle you guys again we'd love a rematch uh anytime right jake definitely 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 so yeah it was a pleasure battling you guys but uh if you like this uh, if you like this video make sure you like subscribe and share and it would be amazing if you guys watched the last previous videos and hit the subscribe button showing up on your screen right now so thank you again for watching this has been danny mac and my boy jacob so we're gonna sign out of here and say goodbye so see you later